Hi everyone, Missella here. We're going to be harvesting some garlic today. Now depending on the variety that you plant, you could be harvesting between April and end of July, but it also depends on where you are. So if you're in the southern part of the country, you could be harvesting as early as early spring. And if you're in the northern part of the country, like I am, I'm in the Pacific Northwest, Zone 8B, I usually harvest between early July and the third week of July. So I'll be going over on how to tell when your garlic is ready to be harvested. But also this video is going to be a two part video because not all of them are ready to be harvested. So some of them are mature already and I've harvested a few this past two days and we'll go back again in about a week or so to harvest the rest. So let me give you a closer look and show you how to harvest garlic. One of the few ways to tell when garlic is ready for harvest is when they start to fall over. Another way is when the lower leaves or about a third of the leaves start to turn light brown or tan, just like these ones here. Now you don't want to harvest too early when the bulb is not fully grown and have not filled in all the way, but you don't want to harvest too late when the bulb starts to split, which will shorten its storage life. These ones on the back row are not ready for harvest. I purposely left a scape on one of the garlic plants. When that scape straightens back up towards the sky, those ones there will be ready for harvesting. Another way to check if your garlic is ready for harvesting is you can dig around your plant gently, move the soil around, and check to see if the bulb has filled in all the way. This one looks like it is ready, so I'm going to go ahead and lift it up with my spade. You never want to pull on the garlic stalk itself as it can damage the garlic and shorten the storage life. So you want to place your spade about three to four inches away from the garlic bulb, push it down, and lift your garlic up. Just like that. Not bad, very pretty, pinkish purple variety. This one's elephant garlic. Lift this one up here. Ooh, not bad. That's a really nice size one. Check that out, guys. And it's got the bulb bills uh, or corn. I think that's what someone said. They left a comment in one of my videos. And these are called corn, the little baby elephant garlic that grows on the bottom where the roots are. And these could be planted and grown for more elephant garlic. Here's what I harvested from this bed so far. Let's take a look at the rest that I harvested a couple of days ago and then stay tuned for the second part of this garlic harvest. The ones that I harvested a couple of days ago. There are some nice sized ones here. Uh, loosening the soil when you have a bigger garlic bed. Let's see how this one looks like. Oh, that's a pretty big one. What a day. We harvested all together the past week and a half a little bit over 200 heads of garlic. A combination of elephant garlic, hard neck, and soft neck. This is the biggest elephant garlic that we harvested, that my daughter harvested earlier. Look how beautiful that is. And these are the garlic corns, which are like the seeds that you can plant. And here are some beautiful purple stripe. I think these are rock and bowl garlic, hardneck variety. Look how nice these are. Great size ones. So now we're going to put them away from direct light, some are in the shade with good ventilation. You can put them in your garage or shed, somewhere where it's dry and dark and has good air circulation so that way they can cure for about two and a half, three weeks. And after that, you can store them for long-term storage or you can use them right away. We will have plenty of garlic to share with family and friends and we'll be donating some to our local food bank. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and if you haven't grown garlic yet, give it a try, plant some this fall. It smells so wonderful. If you like garlic, you'll love growing garlic, especially freshly homegrown is the best. Thank you so much for joining me today. Have a wonderful day and happy gardening.